Hello and welcome to a demonstration of using screen reader software to access tables in spreadsheets. James, a screen reader user, will first demonstrate what it is like accessing a table which has been marked up. This means it has accessible column headers, among other things. He is using the JAWS screen reader software. We can navigate a table with the arrow keys. 1. A7. Name, Oliver. B7. You will have heard JAWS say name, and that is reading the column header. So I know that I'm in the names column. If I use the right arrow now, or the left arrow, you will hear going right. Count. 4,932, C7. And going back to the left. Name, Oliver, B7. Rank left bracket, note one right bracket, one, A7. So as I move across the columns, you hear JAWS announcing each of those headers. And that will work across the columns, no matter which row I'm in. As you can imagine, this is a really important feature to have in any Excel spreadsheet. Because spreadsheets can be large and quite complex, this provides screen reader users with a contextual reference as to where they are in the document. Now, James will demonstrate what it is like trying to access a table that is not marked up. So we're focused in the first cell, the contents cell, A1. Now, many of these commands will work in a similar fashion. Control Shift D Delta, for example, will show us all of the cells that contain data in this table. And this spreadsheet does not contain freeze panes. So we should have access to each of the cells that contains data. Cells with data dialog, list one, list view, A1 colon contents, one of 375. To move to items, use the arrow keys. So there we are. Moving through this list, I can pick a cell and jump to it. And I'm going to do that because I want to show you the difference in accessibility when navigating within the spreadsheet itself. A3 colon, A4 colon England and where, A6 colon places one, F6 colon places, A7 colon rank, B7 colon name, C7 colon count, D7, E7, G7, H7, I7, J7, case, A9, B9 colon Oliver, 17 of 375. I'm going to press enter on Oliver here and let's see what happens. Contents, hash hyperlink, A1, contains hyperlink, Oliver, B9. There was a lot of information there, but eventually it announced Oliver and the cell B9. What it didn't do was announce the column header. So as I move left and right across the columns, you won't hear the column header for each of the cells I'm focused on. 1, A9. So if you're just navigating through this table, you have no idea, or I should say, I have no idea what one refers to. That is why it is so important that accessible column headers be included on all spreadsheets. 